Welcome to Rush Truck Center. My name is John Stampa. I've been selling trucks now for 25 years, and I'm going to tell you something. I thought I would, I've learned everything about trucking, but well, I'll tell you what. This market, and this, this, this transportation uh, business, it keeps showing me how wrong I really am. One of the things is I don't have to tell you, freight rates are down, fuel is up, and so is the cost of insurance and the cost of fixed trucks. One of the most important things I think that you're confronted with is there's a lot of great trucks on the market. But what's going to be most important to you is uptime and, and, and minimize downtime to get your trucks in and out and on the road. And which is the one that's going to stay on the road for you and give you that best uptime. And I believe it's going to be our international LT625. What I'd like to do is talk about how can we impact all those challenges you have right now relating to fuel economy. One of the things that's for sure is you want to get the most fuel economy you can. And I'm going to walk around this truck and talk about some of the things that's going to improve fuel economy. Number one is if you look at our truck here, the slope of the hood creates better airflow. You come around over here, we get these fenders, we put enclosures. Everything is about aerodynamics now. So they've made these fenders enclosed more. You got the side skirts down here that you have closures on, okay? come back here, we can put the closures in the fuel tank. Now, this particular truck, this particular customer decided to go ahead and put a flow below aerodynamic system with the, with the wheel was and the, the uh, wheel covers. That all impacts, and you know, we're talking it's incremental. It's not necessarily you're gonna see two more miles to the gallon with this, but everything that we do dramatically impacts your fuel economy. Take a good close look at truck, uh, Rush Truck Center. One of the things that we're going to do is when we get done here, I'm going to walk you around the dealership. I'm going to introduce you to service. I'm going to introduce you to our body shop. I want you to see all the, the value that you have with the Rush Truck Center. Another very, very important thing to think about is we have over 120 dealerships across the country. I'm going to be not only the guy that sells you the trucks, and work to earn your business, but to keep your business. How do I keep your business? Because I'm gonna be your, your, your fleet advocate. You know, when you need some help, I want you to get a hold of me. If you got a truck that's going down, and I'm gonna talk about some of the other things that, uh, products that we are gonna make available to you uh, that are gonna help you in that respect, okay? Because all it's about all keeping drivers too, okay? You wanna keep your drivers. One of the ways is they don't like sitting in a hotel room. They don't make any money. You don't make any money that way sitting in a hotel room. So all the key is get you in and out when it's down. And I will tell you another thing that I've, I've found, and I know that you know this, is supply chain hasn't gotten any better over the years. In fact, it's probably stayed the same. We're still looking at limited production. And every manufacturer is confronted with the same thing. So when you look at what truck are you gonna buy, you wanna get the one that's gonna give you the greatest return on investment and also keep you out of the shop. Let's take a walk around over here. Put some more enclosures. What I want to do is pop the hood because when a guy does his pre trip inspection, that's something that's, you want to make sure it's easy. Usually I keep this popped open, but we'll go ahead and open up over here. What I want you to do is I want you to see the driver's perspective, because what we're going to do is we're going to check all our fluids, which is easy access here. You can see your coolant level. Come around over this side. Easy access to check your oil, check your drag link, check your brakes. This particular truck, and this is a great value you might think about, is this truck came equipped with disc brakes. And disc brakes probably run an extra two thousand dollars an axle but i would tell you disc brakes last two and a half times longer in most cases and i've been told by different companies when they go through the uh, the way station that guy sees you have disc brakes he waves you through so uh, there's a lot of advantages with disc brakes and of course it shortens the stopping distance you have a safer safer uh, driver and a safer truck and again you don't want the truck in the body shop you usually think we've got problems supply chain with parts on the engine and the rest of the truck once it goes in the body shop I would tell you average time in a body shop is a minimum of two months let me 
go ahead and close. I'm not going to worry about relatching the hood right now. One thing you can do is come around over here. Now this is an important feature because I had this happen. These breakaway mirrors. Okay? That'll save you. You got them front and back. Okay? Come around over here. I'm going to open up the door. Let you take a look from the driver's perspective. You got your three points of contact to get in. And everything here is easy access for your driver. In fact, these trucks were designed by drivers for drivers. Very comfortable. You got a great view out through the windshield. Here again, it's safe. A number of people will get with occlusion mitigation. You got it on your car. I, it's my opinion with the cost of insurance, you ought to consider it. That would be my suggestion. Just like uh, this truck did not come with an auxiliary power unit, but here again, the cost of fuel definitely is something to think about. But I would tell you that I think that we can add some value here is by programming. One of the things that we can do is we program this truck. It's just not road speed. It's things like, uh, for example, well, let's just let him idle when the temperature is above 75 degrees or below 55 degrees. And a lot of customers, they tell that you can do that? Sure can. Just like you can come up with a driver's reward program. You can watch your drivers, your drivers that are, that are responsible. Typically, we'll set up these trucks to, to uh, go ahead with the uh, cruise control 70 miles per hour and the pedal 72. On occasion, depending on the lanes that you're driving, your driver might say, boss, I'm having a hard time passing at 72 degrees, or 72 miles per hour, 72 degrees, that's the temperature today. But anyway, uh, you can turn around and say, I'll tell you what, for a half hour a day, I'll let you go to 75 miles per hour. That's something else through program that we can do. And that's, in my opinion, a great value for you to be able to do that type of stuff. This particular, if you take a little closer, this has got what's called a diamond interior. So this is an upgraded interior. You can take a take a look inside there. Scan around. This one's got a refrigerator. Okay, obviously double bunk. Something else that's kind of a nice thing when you step back out. You'll be able to see. This is uh, we're here in Chicago, and no matter where you're based out of. You're going to deal with cold weather. So if you come in here and take a close look at this, this is a battery shutoff. Now what I've found that these battery shutoffs, if you get your driver in the habit of when he parks the truck and turn in the batteries, cuts the battery power. Now in winter, I guarantee you, this is huge. Because so I sold used trucks. And this saved me from having to jump a lot of trucks in the wintertime when this is used. So this is something that I would strongly recommend that you have on all your trucks because you're going to get into cold weather. If you're going over the road, you're going to deal with cold weather. There's no two ways about it. Then you have your battery access here. There's a couple ways that you can jump this thing. You can jump it. They typically put additional locations to jump your truck from back here. So there's your access. So if you are going to be using a jumper, now they sell some real, real nice, small, compact jumping units that are very, very powerful. So if you don't have one of those, that's something else you can consider. And here again, when we get, take you to parts, you know, I'll show you one of those. The other thing that we're going to do is when we get done with our tour, we're going to sit down and look at the service lanes that you're, that you're driving. So we can best spec the truck that's going to be most important for you as it relates to, are you hauling heavy? Are you going in the mountains? Are you doing any of that? To, we're going to probably take a look at how can we get you better fuel mileage and also get you the, the performance that you're looking for. The other thing is we'll decide, is leasing better for you or financing better? I think you mentioned something about that you wanted to get at least 25 trucks for next year. And uh, we'll sit down, we'll spec that truck out, we'll price it out, and we'll see if we can't earn your business. Does that sound good? Thank you for coming into Rush Truck Center.